Hi, and welcome to a new plugin groove video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. This is going to be. This is a very important video. This is um, we've updated the installation process for Unify, um, and I'll explain why in a second. But basically, we want to make it a little bit more distinguished between the files that Unify needs and then data, the samples and the presets. Um, and I have an analogy. <laughs> so right now, when you buy Unify, for the many of you, thank you so much to all my customers and all of the new customers. You guys are welcome to the Plugin Guru family. It's awesome. Thank you. Um, a lot of you have installed Unify already. And when it installed, it installed into the, on the PC, it's the public documents folder. On the Mac, it's the user's shared folder. It installed both the added content. Love this thing. This is one of the things I'm sampling for a new library. Um, but for this analogy, this is this, the plugins, the plugin scanner, what we call binaries. That's these guys. And then we have this, the container. This currently, it's, it should have water in it, but I drank it all. But it would have like this much water, right, for the two and a half gigabytes, and it's going to grow. It's going to grow, 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 grow as we add new libraries and stuff like that. These were both in the same folder, like this. See, you can't see anything. It's just, no. Anyway. So what we did is we've separated it so that these binaries, the plugin scanner application, other things we're going to be adding in the future that are just kick butt, you won't believe what we're doing. They're in one folder in the application folder, and you don't need to touch them, don't need to move them, leave them alone, okay? This is your container, and this, when you now install Unify, you can tell it where you want this to be, and you can set it up at the very beginning, or you can actually move it later, and I'll show you both cases, okay? But that's what we're doing. Uh, so for those of you that currently have the both the, 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 the binaries and the container in one folder, when you run this installer, it will separate them for you, okay? So I'm gonna run this on the Mac because I'm running on a Mac. If you're running on a PC, it's pretty much the same procedure. You run a .exe. The difference being on the PC, it asks a couple questions. One of them is the location of your VST folder. So you can, for the VST2, not the VST3, but the VST2, the standard VST plugins, it asks where you want to place the Unify VST plugin. Because um, on the PC, it can be on all sorts of different locations, different drives and stuff. But you want to make sure you place it at the same place that other DAWs, your other applications, are also looking. So that way they will be able to load Unify, right? And then another one is if you want a shortcut on your desktop so it makes it easy to load Unify in the future. And I'll show you how to do that on the Mac here in a second. So we'll go Unify, continue, continue. The EULA, our end user license agreement is here. Note that you get three authorizations for your purchase of Unify. So you can put on your laptop, put on your PC, and have one more just in case you decide to add another computer in the future. Um, install, do your password. It will install, done. So what it has installed on the Mac, it's installed an audio unit, VST2, VST3 plugins, and a standalone application. On the PC, it's installed the VST2 plugin where you told it to put it, VST3 where they're supposed to go by default, and then the standalone application, okay? If you're on the PC, you now might have a shortcut on your desktop. Since we don't have a shortcut on our desktop, you can go up here to go and go to applications. And right here, you'll find, oh, by the way, check this out. This is so cool. Let's resize this a little bit. Right here under the Plugin Guru Unify. Check this out. We're almost up to February 5th. This is about one year ago when Shane sent me this. This was our first build of Unify, where you could scan plugins and you could build things without any interface. Um, if I go over here, I, you can't see some of this stuff, but if I make it to just a simple sine wave, check this out. Here are our first basic parameters for the key range and transpose, mute solo, our pan. So this is where we started a year ago. And look where we are now, you know? It's crazy. <laughs> so, um, but below that you'll see is the Plugin Guru folder. This is the folder. Has these guys, right? So you don't touch this folder. 
It's got the things that looks just about like what you see in your shared folder. I'm going to show you in a minute because it has a plugin guru and a unify folder. But the helper apps and the VST folder, this now is the VST folder that unify looks at. So those of you installing from a previous version, in your shared folder, you might have an old VST folder. After you've ran this update and Unify is working and playing beautifully, you can remove that folder because it's not referring to that folder anymore. It's referring to this folder right here, okay? Down here, we have Unify. And if you click and drag, you can go wherever you want and let go and it'll put up a little quick start in your dock. So that's the same as like a shortcut. We don't have shortcuts like, I mean, you can also say like this, if you click and drag and it just shows this little side arrow, I've made a shortcut. It's an alias is what we call it on the Mac. So I could do either way. I can, let's delete that because I like to use the dock because it's just there. And if you don't know this, you can go up to your dock settings uh, on your computer and make it so it minimizes. So it goes away and then it shows up when you, when you come down here and go like this, it can magnify all sorts of cool things. So set that up, run Unify, it goes, hey, welcome to Unify, right? Trying to be really helpful. I'm gonna use a default location, but at this point, this is where you get the chance to choose if you want, where am I? If you want your container, which starts with a little bit over two and a half gigabytes, and it's gonna grow as we add more libraries. If you're watching this in the future, there might be 10 gigabytes of files from different libraries you can download and add to Unify. So you wanna choose a location where you have hard drive space. So you choose that now, okay? I'm gonna say use the default location and it says time to activate Unify. So you say, okay. So it calls up and here you are. Now, if you're on the PC and you use any type of security scanning software, God bless you, um, that will not let Unify do an online authorization. I'm just telling you right now. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna make this go over here. I'm gonna go plug in Guru. Com. I'm going to log in. I'll show you. I, I showed this in the first video, but we're just going to go through the whole process again. Why not? Uh, so I'm logging in to the libraries that I own. You can find out the libraries that you own by right here, the My Account, right? So by doing that, here we go. Oh, I have a pending purchase. Cool. And where it says View Licenses, I'm going to put this over here because you can't see this information, but you click View Licenses, right? And right here it says key, and there's a little yellow key. You just click that. I'm gonna double click and copy that. That shows you the license number that is used to authorize here. So let's go over here. I'm gonna say authorize online, paste, and I'm gonna validate. And it will look like this after you've done this. Boom, <laughs> it's done. And now it says you need to install the basic content. And, Next, and uh, you need to locate the unifybasics.guru file, which came with your installer, and drag and drop it into the Unify window. Okay? So right here is the basics.guru. If you click and drag this, it says, do you want to install the basics? I say yes. And there, just like that, it has installed everything you need to run Unify, but we don't have any patches, right? It, this area is empty. You can hit the lightning bolt to confirm there's just the user patch. At this point, you've now downloaded this Unify standard library.guru, still in standalone before you've called it up as a plugin. Just makes it easier to go over here and drag and say, okay. And it will automatically load in all the samples, all 425 presets that now are included with Unify, all the presets for the default presets, all of that is automatically loaded into Unify for you. And it does it pretty fast. And when it's done, this file, this .guru file, isn't needed anymore. So you can actually uh, either back it up or you delete it. If you need to get back to get any of these files again, you can log into the PluginGuru.com website. Um, log in with your password and all that stuff. Go to your, um, what's called My Account. If you get the email and it expires because you're on a road trip or something like that, just log into PluginGuru.com and hit my account and it will bring you over here. And here you can see I can download Unify Library and it will be version 1.0.6 or later right here. And here's the standard two and a half gigabyte library. You can download those anytime you need them, okay? All right, it's installed. Now, boom, it has scanned everything. It has rebuilt itself. And now I can hit play and um, 
I don't know if you're gonna actually hear this. Let me see something. You probably might not hear this, so let's do this. Now that that's done, I can quit the Unify standalone. I've done this all in standalone, right? And I'm done here because I've done the Unify basics. It's all over there. Unify is working beautifully, yay. So now I can go to Logic or whatever my sequencer is and load up the plugin version and boom, it's all there. And now I can play the basses. <laughs> It all works. If it doesn't work, if this is empty, hit the little lightning bolt. This is our refresh the database button. You can also hold down option right here to rebuild the database. And here in settings, we also have a rebuild the database right here. Right here is the data folder. This allows you to change the location. If you change your mind in the future and you wanna move this, you would move it first, move it to a, another hard drive or some other location and then you hit change and then you navigate until you're inside the Unify folder and say select. And to make sure it works, you just hit open. And here's what the Unify folder will now look like. And again, if you have a VST folder here inside of your shared, this is, this is the container folder now. It's not, it's not this folder. It's, where'd it go? Oh, right here, container. This is the container folder. So this is going to just have libraries and just have presets. No more VST in this folder, okay? So that's the installation process. Everything should be working at this point and you should be golden to go through and call up all the bases and splits. And have a good time, okay? Thank you for watching. We, Chain and I sincerely thank you for your support. We have really cool stuff down the road for you, so thank you. We'll see you soon.